Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to another trailer reaction video to the new trailer for Pokemon the Movie 20, I Choose You. There has been quite a few trailers released recently because obviously we did just make a video on this recently because a new trailer did get released and now another one did get released yesterday on the 8th of July and I've just seen it now. Um, I, I didn't, I've, I haven't watched it all yet, I've just, you know, skipped through it a bit and there is a lot of new things in this trailer making the movie, movie even look even better than we already thought it is literally right around the corner now not long now i think it's already i think it's already been shown in paris or something i think there's something like that because a, a, a few people like leaked it or something as well i haven't seen it i'm obviously going to wait until it's out in english and all that good stuff but um this new trailer looks absolutely incredible straight away we can see from this shot here uh it's like a pokemon stadium kind of battle thing so it's going to be like some sort of gym battle or big trainer battle or something like that but without further ado let's get into it uh, and let's see what's cracking on so like I said, straight away we can see the uh, straight into the uh, straight into the scene where we can see. I think that's a Blastoise shell, already looking amazing with the graphics. So Blastoise is coming in here, looking nice and powerful. Gets out his uh, pumps, and this is kind of crazy because obviously in the first ever episode that we saw, we saw Gengar fighting an Nidorino, but now obviously we see Gengar fighting a Blastoise. If this is the opening scene, I'm pretty sure it is, but that's just a huge difference already that we see because there are loads of differences from um, this this movie than there are from the actual anime series but let's just get into it anyway so we see Gengar using hypnosis or something Blastoise dodging it in his shell and then he's using that looks like ice beam as well hitting Gengar uh, took it straight on the way, uh, straight on the face, and then that's kind of like the title thing. So I think that is the opening bit. Like I say, it's a bit different from the original because uh, in the original Gengar was fighting Nidorino, but this time he's fighting Blastoise. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Next up, we have. A black screen. This is Ash waking up. I guess this is where we, where he like remembers that he's uh, he's late because obviously in the in the anime he woke up late. That's why he got Pikachu in the first place. Pretty sure this is just that. Uh, we see Delia waking him up. Um, he's doing some sort of like front flip out of bed here. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't think Delia woke him up in the original. I think uh, he he throws the alarm clock or something and then it wakes him up. Uh, Delia doesn't actually wake him up in the original. That's kind of bad parenting skills though. You think Delia would be like, oh, you know, it's only the biggest day of his life tomorrow picking up a new magical creature gonna travel the world i'll let him snooze for an extra hour or so so not the best parenting skills from delia there but there we see ash jumping out of bed he's still in his uh, like his pj so that's the uh, obviously the same but we already knew that so this is all like new uh, all, all new scenes that we haven't seen already in the trailers so yeah lots of stuff so we we see him going upstairs in professor x laboratory this is cool because we kind of see i guess this is relating to bulbasaur's pouch charmander's tail and squirtle's shell and i guess this is probably like what they're eating out of these looks like pillows actually so yeah this could be like where they sleep this could be where they eat from not sure why these are mixed up like that's obviously orange so that should be with the charmander thing not sure why that's uh, mixed up but hey we'll see anyway so yeah there we see the charmander is so so this bit's already like loads of differences here so obviously they're walking up we see instead of him opening all the pokeballs he just sees that they're all missing now um and then we see pikachu's tail up there so in the original obviously uh, he opened all the Pokeballs and Professor was like, no, you're not on time. And then he got the Pikachu ball out. Whereas in this one, Pikachu's already running around in the lab, it looks like. So huge differences already from the very start. And then he sees Pikachu. Pikachu's looking all happy here because um, obviously he was already out of his Pokeball. Sitting, uh, standing behind Professor Oak, he looks happy there. And then for some reason, he suddenly gets really annoyed at him. Like like I said, like right here, he looks absolutely fine. He's like, hey, how you doing? And then a couple of seconds later, I don't know what Ash did to him, but he's getting electrocuted like hell. So that's really cool. Then we see that Ash is like, okay, down to business, putting the hat on, always nice. And then he's trying to get him in the Pokeball, but Pikachu's like completely hesitant. Here we see Delia as well, so I'm not sure what happens because obviously in the original, Delia, Delia never came into the lab. She was waiting outside for Ash because that's when she gave him like his bag and everything. So he's got his clothes on now. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they went back to the lab maybe or something like that. But obviously Delia isn't like the party outside waiting for Ash to come out. She's obviously given him his things already, and and yeah, so she's actually in Professor X's lab. So that's obviously another huge difference. And then we just see uh, Ash walking up the hill. We've already seen these bits. These is just like these bits are just uh, Pikachu refusing to talk to Ash. This is the Spearow's bit where Pika where he's running away with Pikachu to try and keep him safe. Does a huge dive bomb. I'd give that a ten out of ten at the Olympics. Really, that was nice. And then obviously nearly gets ate by a Gyarados. So not having a string of good luck right now. Um, but these are all just like cinematic scenes where you know big things are happening these are the major events of the first episode this is ash like you know basically sacrificing himself for pikachu which is obviously what got them into like being really good friends and all that good stuff this is where they beat the pikachu i take it 
this is where they see Ho Ho maybe. Yeah, this is where they see Ho Ho. So these are all the bits that we've already seen. Uh, it, it'll, all, all the new stuff uh, happens right here. So obviously he's, he's got his hat, he's got his hat off there. I'm not really sh too sure why. Uh, you probably go pick that up. I, I, you know, if Ash, if Ash, if I were you, I'd go pick that. Up. But here we see uh, Jim Bowles. We've seen this bit actually. Uh, it is a tangler because on, on in the old trailer, I didn't really know what these were. It looks like it looked. It did look like a vine whip. These vines that come in a second. Uh, these bits. Uh, it didn't actually show tangler though. But obviously. A couple of you guys in the comments did say it could be Tangler, and obviously it is the gym battle with Erica. So he actually properly fights Erica because when he fought Erica in the anime, uh, he was doing pretty well against her. But then Team Rocket came and like exploded the gym and stuff, and then he obviously saved Gloom, and that's how he got the gym badge. Obviously, I feel, I feel like in this movie he's going to be a lot less um, compassionate in that way. So obviously we see Ash in the anime being really nice, saving Pokemon, saving people, all that. I feel like this is going to be like the hardened version of Ash, where he's proper going for the fights, the battles, everything like that, and he's actually winning them legitimately, because he didn't really win that many Kanto badges by actually beating the gym leader, and I feel like that's going to be completely different in this movie. I feel like he's going to earn them all legitimately, because um, we can see Pikachu like destroying Tangler there. Yeah, there we see. So we see it is an, a gym battle with Erica, absolutely destroys Tangler, sends him to the, like, he sends him, he's gone, and I guess this is where he wins the gym badge, because it was just like, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously where he wins the gym badge because he's like, yeah, Pikachu, good job, pal. So this is, I, I guess this is a new travel companion of Ash. We did see a glimpse of this person in a trailer before, so maybe they like battle at this bit or something. So obviously there is no Misty and Brock in this movie, which quite a few people are annoyed about. Um, and these are the new travel companions. I would have definitely preferred Misty and Brock in the actual movie instead of these new people. But I guess it's to get like the other generation Pokemon in here because obviously we see Piplup here. Um... Yeah, so they do actually have a battle. So I guess this is what to just get like the other generation Pokemon in, so it's not all just Kanto. So obviously Misty and Brock both have like a bunch of Kanto Pokemon. So yeah, here we see a Lucario as well, and this is the other person that I guess Ash travels with. So I guess that is like the, the main reason that they've done that. But like I said, I would definitely prefer Misty and Brock to be in this. So maybe he mega evolves Lucario. As you can see, they are traveling here. Oh good, they've got nothing on Misty and Brock at all. Misty and Brock made uh, definitely were a big part of the anime. So I guess it's them getting to a new city or something. They're all like really happy about it. Uh, and this is the feather. So I guess wherever, whenever they see a rainbow, uh, it, it must like interact with the interact with the rainbow wing that we see here. And it must mean that it's getting closer to Ho-Oh or something. Maybe something like that. Like he's probably telling them about Ho-Oh now and how this means like that it's a rainbow wing or something like that. Must be anyway. So we finally seen Team Rocket as well. So Team Rocket are in this, which is a bit weird because we have Team Rocket, but we don't have Misty and Ash. So I don't uh, Misty and Brock. So I don't know how much we are going to see Team Rocket in this. Uh, maybe we'll try and steal Pikachu on a couple of occasions. But it's nice to know that Team Rocket are in this because they are obviously a big part. In this bit, we see Ash's Butterfree. I take that. He also has a Lapras. Now, I don't know if this is Ash's, but obviously he did use Lapras to travel around the Orange Islands. Pikachu is on his head, and that's what Pikachu usually did in the anime. He just usually jumped on Ash uh, Lapras's head. So this could be belonging to one of these two, but it does look like it's going to be Ash's. So this could be... I don't know, because he got he, he lost Butterfree like ages ago before he got close to getting Lapras. So I'm not sure if, you know, what's going on here. But he's obviously going through a, leak, a lake. In this part, we see... Uh, Charmander being caught by Ash. Now, this is obviously another big moment because one of the biggest things about Ash catching Charmander was to do with Brock. You know, Brock um, kept Charmander warm and Ash obviously kept his tail, um, you know, lit. So maybe Damien isn't even in this because obviously in Charmander, the stray Pokemon, Damien abandoned Charmander and that's why Charmander went to the rock and everything. But I think in this bit, uh, he must do something to help like Charmander because we did see Charmander like gladly getting into the Pokeball there. And we do see him on the rock here as well. So... I really don't know what's going on here because this is obviously probably him waiting for Damien, but obviously Brock and, and everyone in it, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. But we do see that he does catch Charmander, so he is obviously going to get his Charizard. This is going to be the most heartbreaking bit of the movie because we obviously do see Ash giving, you know, giving his Butterfree away like we did see in the anime. That is a huge scene, really, really emotional scene. I hated watching it uh, because it just, it, it, it just, you know, it just grabbed your heartstrings. In this bit is another huge like moment because. Charmeleon is actually listening to Ash. So, like I said earlier about the Harden thing, where he's actually earning his badges and things, that's probably why Charmeleon is paying attention to him and actually, like, you know, following his orders, because he does seem like a more experienced trainer and he's actually getting his gym badges legitimately. So that means maybe Char uh, Charizard uh, listens to Ash as well straight away and he doesn't, um, you know, disobey him and stuff. So maybe that's how he. Maybe he beats the league because obviously uh, Charizard was the reason that he didn't that he lost to Richie because Char Charizard was just like falling to sleep and disobeying. So maybe he beats Richie in this if Richie is in it, so he could actually win the league. Um, but obviously we see Charmeleon take out the loot. Oh, it's an Incineroar, so Incineroar's here uh, destroys Charmeleon, sends him straight through. 
So maybe, I think a good bit here would be if Charmeleon maybe evolved in this scene to like defeat Incineroar. Because obviously the prehistoric Pokemon thing is going to be completely different because that's that the whole thing was Charmeleon not listening to Ash. I don't think they're actually going to include the prehistoric Pokemon in that, in this movie. So this is, could be like a really long, really strong trainer that obviously owns Incineroar. This is another forest. This could, this could be Viridian Forest or it could be something else because obviously they're on their own and they've got the rainbow wing. So I'm not sure what this forest is off the top of my head. We see Marshadow. So this could be the first time he meets Marshadow. Obviously, he's doing things, you know, all the stuff that, you know, that Ash didn't want to see. This is another bit where they're falling uh, and something's going on there. I don't know what that is. Maybe something to do with the rainbow wing. Crystals is hello, straight back. And that is pretty much the end of the trailer. This bit is literally just going through, uh, you know, things about it that I don't. Yeah, these are all just like basically telling you about last uh, episodes and like movies and then stuff about Sun and Moon. So that is pretty much for this trailer. We 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 saw a lot of interesting things like such as Charmeleon obeying him, how he captures Charmander, um, him obviously traveling with the companions, getting Pikachu in a different way, um, and yeah, like the gym battles and stuff that makes him look like a more experienced trainer. He does look like a lot more like he knows what he's doing, uh, and he's like. He's quite shy and cautious in the original series, but in this movie he looks like he really wants to win everything. So he could actually win the league in this movie. It would make sense because that kind of would stop him from traveling on more because he'd be the league champion. So I feel like he will win the league in this. But um, that is pretty much for this trailer discussion analysis video. Let me know what you guys thought about this trailer. How excited are you guys for this movie? I'm super excited for it, cannot wait for it to come out, I think it comes out this month maybe, um, so there will probably be a, like maybe one more trailer release before the actual movie, or it will just be, um, you know, this will be the final trailer, I probably will do a movie review when I watch it, obviously not going through it at the same time as watching it, because that would take forever, I will probably just watch the movie and then like highlight huge points, say how good it was, all that stuff, so let me know if that's something that you want, guys want to see, but uh, for today guys, I am out of time, that is the video. Um, if you guys did enjoy it, please remember to hit that like button below. I really do appreciate it. But that is everything from me, though, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a glorious day and peace.